What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to go over everything you need to know about one of the new engrams in Season 11, the Umbral Engram. And these are pretty cool. They have some very unique traits to them. You notice it right away. They have been touched and tainted by the darkness. So these have been touched by the pyramids. And with that, they have some very unique characteristics. Number one, you cannot decrypt these through your traditional means. So you cannot take these to Master Rahul. Instead, you must take them to our resident drifter here in the Annex and use his decoder device. This is what you'll use to decrypt all of your umbral engrams. Now, you notice here I have a few of these. I have a couple basic ones, and I also have a focused engram, so we're gonna talk about that. These are very cool in the sense that they allow you to better craft the types of weapons and armor that you want and kit out your loadout exactly how you want it. These are very much like what we saw with the Menagerie, what we saw with the Sundial, and how that allows you to pinpoint the weapons and armor that you want. But let's take a look here at the basic ones, and to do that, we're going to look at this device right next to the decoder, the Prismatic Recaster. This is what's going to be useful throughout the entire season. Upon first inspection, this very much looks like what we saw with the bunkers from last season. With this, you have some weekly, daily, and additional bounties, and you also have different research levels. And we want to look here at the Gifts of Light and Dark, because these different bonuses are going to be really useful. Now, one thing that's different is, in order to get to rank 2 and rank 3, you must complete everything in rank 1 and then rank 2 respectively. So, this will take you some time. Now, the way that you increase your rank with this device is by using one of the new materials, that is the Twisted Energy. So, Twisted Energy will be a very valuable commodity because that's what you use to increase your recaster rank. That gives you different rewards down here. And also, too, it governs which rewards you have here as far as your rank 1, 2, and 3. Now, what's great about these is these different ranks will give you different bonuses, whether it be finding Umbral Engrams better, whether it be by getting destination materials, but it'll also give you more additional free rewards because you don't have many free gifts here when it comes to enhancing your focus. Now, when I talk about enhancing my focus, that's going to allow you to better dictate the types of rewards that you get. If I open this umbral focusing subscreen, you notice that right now I only have access to very basic focusing. But as you progress, as you increase your research rank, you will also get even better refined focusing that will further allow you to dictate exactly the type of weapons and armor that you want. This will be really valuable too, especially if you're going for things like the armor pieces and you want to get a very certain stat. Maybe you want high intellect, maybe you want high recovery. These will allow you to focus on that particular attribute so that you can have the exact type of stats you want for your armor. Even more useful when you consider the fact that things like Powerful Friends, that's, that's not able to stack anymore. This will let you get the exact stats you want and go into PvP and take people down. So improved armor focusing will be really valuable as you go throughout the season. But what's even better here is right, right away, you gain access to some of the more basic focusing. So you can focus on pyramid weapons, you can focus on armor focus, you can focus on legacy weapons, and then dredging. So if we take a look here at the pyramid, for instance, these are some of the brand new weapons from this season, season 11. You have some auto rifles, you have a really cool looking sword. These are going to give you some really cool gear that has some very unique perks to them. This sword, for instance, is very much like one of the old weapons from D1, the bolt caster exotic sword. This has that type of capability to it. So make no mistake, some of these new weapons and the perks that they have are very very good so keep that in mind here i'm focusing right now on getting a lot of these pyramid weapons just to try them out but with this basic focusing i'm basically having the entire loot pool for the pyramid ones at my disposal if i wanted to further enhance that i could take a look here at rifle focused and really narrow down the weapons that i want so maybe if you want to get the fusion rifle you would go with this eventually right now because i'm trying to get the sword i'm going with the basic but as i level up here I'll be able to use these ones and have a better chance of getting the exact weapon I want. This will give you a much higher chance of getting the weapon and the perks that you want on it. Now, like I said, you want to make sure that you're upgrading your research rank. And to do that, you use the new material called Twisted Energy. This is pretty hard to get, though. You can get this from the weekly bounties. So it's very important to get those done on all three characters if you have them. Each of these will give you essentially one research rank. So... On the first week, if you do all three characters, that will give you six ranks. 
You do have some other ways of getting these things too. So I know right away you can grab some from your season pass and we'll do that right now. There is some of this more or less kind of a, a bonus thing that you get right away. So we'll grab these. You can also get some of this too from the very first time you do the story mission to start out the season. That will give you 500, that will give you a rank. So by and large, if you take advantage of all your resources, you should be able to get at least 10 ranks in the first week. That will get you nearly halfway done for your research. And that's gonna give you much better perks in the Gifts of Light and Dark. So let's go ahead here, we have 500 now. We'll go ahead and turn these in. This will give me another rank, and it's gonna give me another Umbral Engram. So now I have a bunch of these, I have a bunch of basic ones, but let's go ahead and try to get a cool sword. So I'm gonna go ahead here and focus on the Pyramid ones. Again, I don't have the Improved one yet, but I'm gonna go ahead here and get this. This, I have to upgrade my Season Pass to do it. So I'll get some of these. You'll notice now though, that there is additional cost. So it costs me an engram and it costs me an altered element. Each week you do have some free ones. So you can improve that, it starts out at three and depending on how you progress your gifts of light and dark, you can upgrade this to get some additional free ones. So I believe you can get up to six of these for any given week. But after that, it's gonna cost you additional resources in the name of the altered elements. The altered elements come from the daily bounties. So to recap here, the Twisted Energy is from the Weekly, and the Daily Bounties give you Altered Elements. Unfortunately, the additional bounties only give you XP. It's very much like other systems in this game. So, Daily gives you Elements, Weekly weekly gives you Energy. We're going to go ahead here and focus right now, because I want to try to get that cool sword. So, I'm going to go ahead and focus these. I want to use up my Altered Elements. I'm going to go ahead and focus all of these. And maybe, with any luck, we'll get that cool sword, and then we'll have something else we can use later on this week. All right, we grabbed all of our, we used up every single one we have. We have some elements left, that's not a big deal. I'm gonna go back to the decoder. Again, this is the only place you can decrypt these. And we're gonna turn these in right now. So we have five of these different engrams. So we got another fusion rifle, kind of a bummer. Right now we have one that has backup plan. Maybe this one has one of the new perks. It has unrelenting, this is actually one of the new perks. So we'll go ahead and keep that. Not only is it a higher light level, but it also has this cool perk too which is really neat. This is actually one of the newer perks from Season of the Arrivals. Let's go ahead and turn some more in though. So we'll turn these in. We got another fusion rifle, another auto rifle, another fusion I'm getting pretty unlucky right now. And last but not least, yes, our very last one, we got the Temptations Hook, the new sword. So let's take a look at the rolls we have. This has Energy Transfer and Vorpal. This is actually really good and it could be good to use against bosses because of that perk here. So Keep that in mind. Right now, I only have basic, so my chances of getting my weapon I want are kind of low, but it's still gonna allow me to have a better chance of getting the exact thing I want versus go ahead and just turning in a basic engram. We'll go ahead and do that one last time. I'm gonna grab the engram I have from my season pass, and we'll see what we get from that one. You, these engrams do drop pretty consistently, so you should have a nice amount of these. And don't be, don't be alarmed if it takes you a while to get the roll you want. You'll have plenty of chances from these. So we're going to take this last one. I'm on, I'll decrypt this one by itself and see what we get. Okay, so that gave us a score and Baron chest piece. And honestly, you're much better off focusing. Even though it does take more resources, you're better off focusing. And you want to make sure. The key thing is getting your weekly bounties done and your daily bounties done. Get all of these pieces Slowly but surely, you're going to rank up. You're going to level up your character. That's going to give you access to better rewards. That's going to give you access to better perks from the Gifts of Light and Dark. And that's going to be your absolute best bet. So right now, I've worked through. I've gotten some bounties done. I've gotten some elements. I've gotten some of the energy. We'll go ahead here and do one more rank. Right now, I'm research rank 3. By using one more of these, I'm up to rank 4, which is great. So now I'm at rank 4. I have my other two characters still. That will give me at least a few more ranks, and I'll be up to rank 10 here when all is said and done. I'm going to go ahead back to the Affinity. We'll use a different one this time. We'll go ahead and look at the armor pieces. This will give you the new, the new armor pieces. It's also a great way, too, of, of leveling up your character as well. Maybe you have a bunch of weapons and not enough armor. This will let you dictate, hey, I want to get a better light level armor piece, and that's how we can do this. So we'll go ahead and use an armor piece this time. Now we have an armor-focused engram, and we'll go back to our decoder. So last but not least, we'll turn this in. We're getting paid, let's go. 
and now we got gauntlets. So, a bit unlucky in my case because my gauntlets were actually a little bit higher than this one. But nonetheless, though, you get to see the, the system in practice. I wasn't able to dictate the exact stats that I wanted, but that's okay. We can use that later on. So I hope this video is helpful. I know people were asking questions during the stream. I want to take a second really quick here at the end of the video to thank everybody for their support in recent streams. It's been amazing. I love you guys for it. Please, if this was helpful, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe. Come back for more videos. I want to do my best to make good stuff for you guys here in this new season. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I do. We'll talk soon. Best of luck this season. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.